This is the Region Rush. It's the ESPN 97.7 Region Rush. He's Lawrence. I'm Andy. We're ready to rush best nine plays in Region this week. They say defense wins championships. Special teams wins the Citrus Bowl. How about Jackson Griffiths? Great linebacker, gives full effort on special teams. Here's Sade Turlington, Desert Hills Volleyball, Honus Wagner, hit it where they ain't. Great spot for Sade, and they got the win against Orem. Special teams again, Jacob Sersansi laying the wood down here on Park City. Pineview picked it up and later scored on that drive. What a play. Special teams again, this is the Coach Croshaw kick of the week. Ryan Woolley. Coach Whittingham, give that man a job. That's a 51-yarder. He had a 52-yarder earlier on in the season. Here's a double pass. If you double pass, you're going to get in the top nine plays every week. That's Easton Drubay to Jackson Ritchie, 41-yard gain. Desert Hills, stretch play to Lincoln. Homie, don't play that game. Look at him cut all the way back and score. He has been the man for that Desert Hills offense through three games. Park City Myers, the sidelines, your friend, use the Seno. Dominique McKenzie squeezes past three guys. He had three touchdowns in that game. Here's Ammon Takao. Wait, that's not Ammon Takao, that's Seth Takao. Rumbling, stumbling, Dixie high. Has their quarterback touchdown run. He had two of those against Palm Desert. Here's Carter Ashby bringing out his inner Doug Flutie. Eludes the pressure. This is the end the half buzzer beater. Pay dirt. Touchdown. That is our Zion Trophy number one play of the week. Check out Zion Trophies and Awards now open in Southern Utah. How about them Pineview Panthers 3 and 0? Oh, remember when Ryan Jordan jumped over that dude last year in the playoffs? How about Sawyer Woods, 446 yards? The McKenzie's, everybody was awesome. Honorable mention play of the week. Coach Corey Ashby getting them fired up in Hurricane. That guy's an athlete, played at SUU. Who wouldn't want to play for Coach Ashby? Let's talk all about the matchups coming up in week three with our experts, Carl Frankie, Devin Dixon, part of our Galleon, Welker, and Beckstrom panel. Uh, let's get it going. Anderson, Anderson, Sorry, he's got he's to bring up and There's a oh. nice throw and a catch, and it's complete. Randall, Randall. All right, Devin, who is your top duo from week three? Best duo this week for me, it's Sawyer Woods. First ever varsity start. 446 yards, not one, not two, five passing touchdowns. And who did he find three times? Dominant McKenzie. You were waiting week one, week two for Dom to break out. He finally did. He showed you the deep over the top threat. He showed you how he could catch it 10, 15 yards and take it to the house. And then he showed you how he could tightrope the sideline. So for me, those two hooking up three times was the dynamic duo of the week, clearly. What about you, Carl? Best duo of week three had to have been Cy Nunley and Big Robbie Tangren over at Desert Hill. Uh, Tangren with uh, nine tackles, two sacks. I think he even caused the fumble. And Cy Nunley was all over the field again. Uh, Ten tackles and an interception uh, at a real crucial time uh, with real good field position, which I think Desert Hill scored on. And so uh, those two definitely played their tails off this week and deserve that. All right, Devin, what are your keys to winning week The three? big thing I'm looking for in Desert Hills and Crimson is, first of all, backup quarterback play if it comes to that, and then pressure on the quarterback, especially if they're going to their number two guy or three guy. So I think that's going to be the big thing to watch for in that game. Carl, what's your secret sauce for Hurricane to knock off Pineview? Okay, so Pineview Hurricane this week. You know, Pineview's offense is pretty potent. And then my biggest thing is how is – Hurricane's going to be able to put enough guys on defense to stop that passing attack, but then still try to stop that potent run game. That's going to be really interesting. Or your X Factor. My X Factor this week is Drake Kelly, linebacker for Coach Dre Smith and his defense for Snow Canyon. Cedar coming in first region, region game. If he can have that 10 12 tackle performance, maybe get an interception or two, really float the football, make things hard on Kane Lunt, the sophomore quarterback, I think Snow Canyon's got a chance to bounce back from the loss last week and get their first region win. My X factor this week is not an individual, but offensive unit. So the offensive line for Desert Hills and the offensive line for Crimson, who can keep their quarterback clean this week? Who can run the ball effectively enough so they can throw in the passing game? This is gonna be a big matchup. 
Both defenses, like I said before, are playing really well. Who can protect the QB the best? Thank you, Devin and Carl. Great job as always. Hey, this is Matt Hickman with Academy Mortgage. Hey, rates are good right now. Lots of opportunity in the housing market. Give me a call. Uh, very excited about this next segment. It's brought to you by Voodoo Coal Fired Pizza. Check out Voodoo Coal Fired Pizza for that unique coal fired New York taste right here in Southern Utah, helping bring us the region rush to you this year. Now, uh, Lawrence and I were doing some talking, and over the last few months, we put a lot of work into a new offering for local students here in Southern Utah, the Region Rush High School for overachievers looking to get a little extra supplemental education here in Washington and Iron County. Here's the clip. Yo, it's your boy, Kier baby, hide your daughter. I had a 1.7 GPA at my last school, but the tutors at Region Rush High helped me get that up to a 2.0. Region Rush High is for everybody, not just athletes. TikTok jocks, dweebs, choir boys, and kids that ride the cheese. We take everybody. We're not an accredited institution. Parents, I know what you're thinking. What if Peaches gets too rowdy at recess? Slight pinch, euthanization. Credits earned here won't transfer. Apply to Region Rush High today. Time now for our favorite part of the show every week. My Uncle Hank gives us his pick. How about Uncle Hank last week? Everybody was saying Dixie had no chance against this big school from California, Palm Desert, except Uncle Hank. How about them Flyers getting a win? Uh, now Uncle Hank's gonna give you another pick from up north. Uncle Hank. This is Henry Bouchard, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, coming to you with another winning pick sponsored by the fine folks at Ideal Home and Paint who have been serving Dixieland since 1973. Old Hank's been serving Dixieland since last week when I gave you that winning pick of the Dixie Flyers over that California team they beat. But this week, I'm going north. It's rivalry week. The Weber Warriors are playing the Ogden Tigers, and Weber used to be from Ogden, and they became too important and too good for the town, so they moved up to Pleasant View. Now, when you think about Weber High, who's significantly larger than Ogden these days, it's 6A, and the Tigers are 3A. Weber historically has been famous for defensive ends. Rulin Jones, Jed DeFreeze, Greg Hales. But before that, it was Lane Thompson and Verl Thompson. But you know who predated both of them? Fred Thompson in the mid 60s. One of the great Weber High defensive ends. He's the fountainhead. And his lineage ain't at Weber, it's at Ogden. Eric Thompson. And Thompsons are running around catching passes on the field for the Tigers. And guess what, Weaver? Jeff Hales ain't walking through that door. Danny Farr ain't walking through that door. And there ain't more Buzzwells walking through that door. Take the Ogden Tigers in this week's Upset Special. Bouchard! <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Hank. Great job, as always. We got you covered this Friday night on ESPN 97.7. How about the Snow Canyon Warriors hosting the Cedar Reds? Uh, Crimson Cliffs taking on their crosstown rival Desert Hills. And Hurricane Battling Pineview, SportsRadio977.com, CECTV, and ESPN977. We got them all covered. We'll talk to you again next Tuesday on The Rush.